Hello everyone, it's Elena and I'm back with another video and today we're going to do an academic glow up. I'm going to explain it in more detail later, but the gist of it is that we're going to get our life back on track when it comes to our academics. First up was getting ready and then it was time for breakfast and yes, I eat these super unhealthy chocolate cereal thingies, but honestly, they taste amazing. And then it was time to get back to my room to get to work, but I also wanted to show you this cool thing. One of my friends actually made this. RBG is a former judge of the US Supreme Court and she was iconic and I'm just so happy that my friend gave this to me as a gift but now it's time to get to our academic glow up. Welcome to my room in Germany. I'm currently on my winter break but it is nonetheless time to do some stuff for university and today is a day for human rights law which is one of the papers that I'm taking this year and this is the to-do list of the day. So we're just gonna get to some lectures. Now obviously that's seven lectures and that's really hard to do in a day and I'm not really expecting to finish that um, but I am expecting to finish at least all of the terrorism lectures and probably one or two of the modern slavery and human trafficking lectures but we're just gonna see how far we can get. But first of all, it's now time to do some emails because I always do that in the morning just so I know what's going on. And then we're gonna get to those lectures. So let's go. I started listening to audiobooks while doing things like writing my emails or going on walks, being on the train, etc. And I use the app Storytel for doing that. And Storytel is really amazing because you have a massive selection of audiobooks that you can choose from. And the cool thing is that you don't have a limitation on how many audiobooks you can listen to in a month. So if you don't like a title that you started listening to, it's not a problem. You can just switch to the next one. And I started listening to the Royal series. It's a YA fantasy series and I wanted to read it for ages, but I just never got around to actually reading it. And then I saw that it is on Storytel, so I started listening to it, and I'm actually on book five already, and the series is really, really good. So if you guys are looking for a cool audiobook, I highly recommend the Royal series. I'm also gonna link the book that I'm currently on in the series in the description box down below. And of course, I'm also gonna link you guys to the Storytel app, which I highly recommend if you guys are looking for a good app for audiobooks. And if you are a student, there is a special offer, which is that you can get 33% off by using my link. So you are only paying nine euros 90 a month instead of 14.90 a month. And all you need to do is verify your student status. And then after the 14 day trial period, you have that special offer. And you can also get textbooks, etc., on Storytel. And some of them also allow you to switch to the ebook mode so that you can either listen to the book or you can read it as an ebook, however you prefer. And yeah, overall, I highly recommend Storytel. It's really great, especially if you don't always find the time to read something, then just put on your headphones and listen to it while doing things like writing your emails. Alrighty, people, all my emails are done, and that means it's now time for some lectures fun. And I am calling this series an academic glow up series because honestly, I feel like my last term at university has been a real academic glow down and we don't like that. Okay. We don't vibe with that. Now, why was it an academic glow down? Well, honestly, because I was stressed, stressed and stressed. And the reason for that is that I felt like I was constantly behind. And I mean, I did have like a medical issue. Like I had my wisdom teeth surgery and um, I had four weeks of tooth pain, which was not fun. But the thing is, no matter why it happened, in the end, I just felt like I was always behind and it was not great. And I just didn't feel like I was on top of my work and I don't like that feeling. So we are gonna change things. And to do that, we need to catch up on everything because obviously I did my best to be as prepared as I can be for my lessons, but when you lose a week through a surgery and you only have an eight week term, that means you are gonna be behind and you can't change that. So I think the most important thing is when you are catching up is that you make a list of everything you need to do. And don't just write like, I need to do equity. No, what do you need to do for that subject? So I have a list for all of my different subjects what lectures do I need to catch up on? Very specific, like here with my human rights law posted, I wrote down the different numbers of the lectures that I need to catch up on. And I did that for all of my subjects. I looked through my supervision notes, how much reading do I still have to do for different topics? And I wrote all of that down. And it can be daunting to have a long list, but once you have that list, you actually know what's the extent of the damage that has been done and then you can plan for you know when you're gonna repair that damage. And that's what we're doing now. We are in damage control. 
And here's what my desk looks like when I get to doing my readings. So I always have my lecture notes on my iPad and I take all of my notes in the app GoodNotes and I listen to my lectures on my laptop. And basically what I usually do is I put my lectures on 1.25 speed because that's what works best for me for taking notes, but it also really depends on the lecture. Like some people talk a little bit faster, then one time speed is fine. And I also put on this candle, which smells amazing. I got it for Christmas. I'm not really sure what a bunny cake actually is. I've never heard of this before, but honestly, it just smells really, really good. And now let's put on some classical music because that always makes me feel like a productive queen. After listening to a few lectures, I got pretty hungry, so I went upstairs into the kitchen and made myself some lunch, and then I ate that, and then it was time to get back to work. Two hours later. It's half past four now, even though it looks pretty dark already, the day is not over yet, but I have finished my lectures on terrorism, so now it's time for my four lectures on modern slavery and human trafficking. I'm not going to be doing all of these today, um, I don't want to stress myself out too much, and I think that's also something that's really important when you are catching up. Don't create a time plan that is completely unrealistic. Be honest with yourself, how much can you do? And also don't create too much stress for yourself, especially if you are catching up over the winter break, for example. Um, your mental health is worth so much more than a few more points on an essay, okay? And it's really important to remember that. And I've also noticed that even though I feel like I'm so behind, I was still able to write pretty good essays. I've gotten very positive feedback so far. Um, and I also talked to my director of studies who is in charge of, you know, your academics at Cambridge and if you have any economic concerns or something you can always talk to them and we always have an end of term review sort of so you also have a questionnaire that you fill out and then you chat about that and I said in the questionnaire like, I feel like I'm so behind and stuff and uh, my director of studies was like well I think you're very harsh on yourself because you are doing quite well nonetheless and that was also honestly very encouraging to me because I think sometimes you yourself think a situation is so negative and when you ask other people, um, you know, whether you're really as bad at something as you think you are, you might realize that you're not doing as terrible as you think. But still it's important to be realistic when you have missed some stuff to ensure that you are catching up on it. And that's why I'm doing this whole you know, academic glow up series to, you know, just be honest about the fact that I have catching up to do. And if you have some catching up to do as well, then, you know, you can join me on the journey. Um, and I'm going to finish the series whenever I have finished catching up on everything. And I honestly think it's probably going to run into my term time from my second term at Cambridge. And that's okay because I also needed a break when the winter break began, like I didn't immediately start working. And even though that definitely cost me time, I think that was time well invested because it was invested in my mental health and that's worth a lot. So I'm not gonna feel guilty about that one. So yeah, now it's time for a break and then I'm probably gonna do one more lecture. But yeah, let's do it. During my break, I just sat on my bed and I was planning to draw something in Procreate on my iPad but then I just ended up looking at older drawings from me in Procreate and honestly I don't really know why I stopped drawing in Procreate because I had a lot of fun doing it. I also drew myself with blonde hair and I just did a lot of stuff in the app and I really enjoyed it. I also drew my cousin and I love this picture so much. She actually does not have a nose piercing as she does in this picture but I think it just matched the vibe of the picture so I added that and I actually gave that picture to her as a gift printed on glass and she has it in her room which makes me really really proud. But yeah, then it was time to listen to another lecture because unfortunately 
my academic glow up is not yet complete. So here's me working yet again. One hour later. And that's it for my day. I finished all of my lectures on terrorism, which I'm really proud of because that really needed to get done. The lectures were also super interesting. Like they were just very well done by the lecturer. And I mean, the topic itself is also a very interesting one, obviously. And then I also did one lecture for modern slavery and human trafficking. I have like 10 minutes left on that lecture. So it's not completely done, but almost done. Um, but I decided not to finish it now because I am going to get dinner with my family. So I want to get ready in a moment, um, but it's almost done. And then I'll do those last 10 minutes and the other lectures on that topic on another day. But yeah, overall, I think this day was quite okay in terms of productivity. And before I end the video, I just quickly wanted to ask you guys for a favor because at the end of the year, I always ask for feedback on my content just so that I know what you guys like about it and if there's something that you would like to see more or less of. So if you have a minute, I would be really grateful if you took that time to complete the form. It's pretty long, but you can just answer as many or as few questions as you want. And it's about all of my social media accounts, so not just YouTube, but you can just answer the questions relevant to the profiles where you follow me. Um, and yeah, I would just be really grateful if you guys gave me some feedback just so I know what I can do better for you guys. And yeah, if you have a moment and you use it to complete that form, thank you so much. And if you want to check out Storytel, the sponsor of today's video, the link is in the description box as well. They are really amazing. It was great to work with them because their platform is really cool. I of course tried it out before agreeing to this. And honestly, it's probably the only reason why I ever started the Royal series, even though I wanted to read it for ages and never got around to doing it. But by having it as an audiobook, I could just listen to it while I was writing emails and stuff. And now I'm on book five from the series. So I think it was worth it. And the Royal series is really good. So I highly recommend checking that one out if you are trying out Storytel. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye.